The major challenge will be to get the agriculture community to open up for nutrition doctrine. We are trained in silos. If you look at even how the CGIR centers are, we have 15 and each one has a specialist commodity. One for maize and wheat, one for sweet potatoes, roots and tubers, one for livestock, one for millet and sorghum, the list goes on. Now, we are saying all these commodities can complement each other, but unfortunately the technologies are generated vertically in silos and when we go to the farmer, one day it will be Simit, the following day it's Ilri, the following day is World Potato Center, the following day is Ikrisat, and then the farmer at the end of the day is working on a one acre plot. Can we get the science together? Can we get the technology packages together and look at the farming systems where we go with a collective message that gives the farmer options that are viable? Now, the second challenge is how to bring people who are not from the agriculture sector, the health and the nutrition sector, to focus on agriculture, bring an opportunity and not compete amongst themselves. And then the other thing is just the policy level. Can we get our policymakers to make sure that the good food our grandparents grew has a commercial value so that when you grow it, you purify it, you process it, you sell it for a market that will give you good money? Can we invest in research and have centers that look at seeds so that they are climate smart and they are not eradicated by droughts, but they are also strengthened in terms of yield and the quality of nutrients they have? and then we plant nutrient-dense foods and make sure we inject in research, we inject in markets, we inject resources in food processing. Part of the challenge we have with traditional foods is that you have to cook them for 10 hours. Now in this fast world, who's going to invest time and expense of energy? So we end up going for fast foods, which are empty in calories. But what we are looking for is nutrient-dense foods that will allow healthy lives. And the bottom line is policy should be the pull factor that then opens the way for research, for technology development and for markets, for the nutrient dense foods. At the moment, it's cheaper to buy a packet of hot fried chips than it is to buy a packet of lupins that are nicely packaged and ready to eat. So we go for quick wins, which have detrimental effects and have caused increases for the health sector and budgets like diabetes, obesity, and all the non-communicable diseases. The major challenge which in itself presents a risk is that we have not invested in developing tools that en enable people doing agriculture investments to design projects that deliver for nutrition. Through Atunu, we hope we can circumvent this by investing in the design, monitoring, evaluation and learning tools that will then inform the design of agriculture projects that deliver a positive nutrition outcome. It's an opportunity, it's a risk, because it's a new business for both the agriculture and the nutrition communities.